Hello guys, I'm Darksidic and you're with uh, Thir. So uh, we have one really interesting god here. He's really hard to play though. Uh, so if you wanna if you wanna play with an easy god, this one is not for you. So I'm gonna be showing you uh, what the abilities on this uh, god uh, really are, how to play him, what items to buy, and everything you should know about him so it's a really interesting god to play with I'm gonna show you uh, with pressing key what the abilities look like so here is fearless power cleave change stance and low bringer change stance is the really most important ability but I'm gonna uh, recommend uh, maximizing power cleave or fearless uh, first so uh, I'm gonna introduce you to the third ability first uh, because it's the most important one as I just said so third ability changes uh, your modes I mean you have Thier has two modes so I'm gonna show it here again he has guard stance and assault stance so when you play with assault stance I'm playing with assault stance now you can see my buffs just above my HP uh, when I have assault mode on I deal more damage. I uh, I deal a lot more damage, uh, and when I use guard stance, uh, I am um, more protected. I have more protection, and I have more buffs on. So if you wanna if you wanna go in a team fight, just use your assault stance in order to make uh, and deal more damage. But if you wanna if you wanna if you wanna protect something, if you wanna be uh, more not so vulnerable to magic abilities and so on you should use guard stance uh, so I'm gonna show you the first ability just now I'm on uh, assault stance so I'm gonna show you what the uh, what this ability does on assault stance so first ability right here I charge in front of me and I can knock, uh, knock up all the enemies and minions in that lane so that's pretty good ability in order to go in a team fight if you wanna if you wanna go in a team fight that's the best ability you will use uh, in order to do that so I'm gonna show you what the the first ability does when you when you are on guard stance I'm gonna uh, use my third ability in order to change my stance so now I'm with my guard stance as you can see on my above stage in uh, above my HP bar so I'm gonna show you just now what the first ability does so what the first ability does actually I'm gonna back up a little bit because I'm gonna die okay so you, so I'm gonna back up a little bit because I will need uh, HP now I really okay I died uh, before I introduce you to the first ability as a guard stance uh, mode on I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna buy height of the urchin because that gives you 54 of uh, 50 uh, sorry 45 physical protection 45 magical protection uh, for uh, 250 and 250 health and mana as well so I'm gonna buy this and when I and I have bought this I'm gonna buy combat boots and then warrior tabby in, uh, okay so I'm gonna show you the first ability in guard stance so what I do is I uh, I charge in front of me again but I only hit one enemy at a time so that's not uh, the best my magic you use not really that good so if you wanna deal damage that's not the best attack I mean if you wanna do damage just don't use guard stance at all so um, I'm gonna go back to Azotmon and I'm gonna use the second ability just here so what I do is I do damage in a 180 degree range. I do a lot of damage and I slow them. Uh, I slow the enemies that I have hit. So that's pretty good. And when you use the second ability as a guard stance, then you can heal uh, yourself. Uh, so you will again attack in front of you, but you will heal yourself for every hit that you have made as you saw I just healed myself uh, so that's pretty good ability uh, that's the best ability of guard stance I would say so 
that's pretty amazing. I'm gonna go back to uh, assault mode and I'm gonna show you the ultimate. The ultimate has only one, uh, I don't know how to say it, the ultimate doesn't change no matter uh, of the fact that you're on assault on or uh, guard stand. So that's uh, the thing that you won't be, that won't matter. Even if you're on guard stance, you can use your ultimate. Even if you're on assault uh, mode, you will use your ultimate properly again. So I'm going to buy a warrior tabby because I have the money for them now. And I'm going to go on health and I'm going to buy this little thing. I forgot the name of it. Okay, I'm going to buy, actually, I'm going to buy mystical mail because, as you can see, it gives you 400 health and 65 physical protection which is really good for this hero this gottery uh, and uh, what I forgot to say is that uh, Thir is actually on tank I mean he does a lot of damage but the main the main thing he's used for is tanking so if you wanna if you wanna actually uh, play with a tank this is one of the best tanks I have played with and I'm gonna recommend you buying him but as I said in the beginning, he's really hard to play with. He's one of the hardest uh, gods uh, in this game. So if you're if you're new to Smite, don't buy him. You won't succeed in playing with him because he's really hard. I'm gonna use my first ability now, in just a few seconds, to show you again what it does in assault mode on. So I'm gonna charge in front of me. I didn't succeed in playing. Okay, so uh, again, uh, with the third ability, when you use the third ability, all the cooldowns of the first and the second ability abilities are restored to zero, so you can use them again, which is amazingly good because uh, that's pretty, that's pretty good, unique, I would say even. So, so yeah, that's pretty cool about this god. Uh, he can really uh, use all his abilities uh, in seconds I mean if you want to use your ability uh, your first ability again then just use your third ability to change the stances and then you'll be able to to use your first ability or second again so that's pretty good and unique about him uh, so let's go and help this one here I'm gonna use my first ability well I didn't use it properly now but I'm gonna use my ultimate just now so you can see what it does so I jump with him it's not that powerful of an attack so don't use it that I mean don't I don't know what to say but don't use it that frequently because even though it's an ultimate the fourth attack is not the most powerful on this hero I would recommend using the first and the second every time you can every second you can just use those two abilities because they will help you a lot they will help you not only in a team fight but when you kill minions they will help when you try to escape they will help uh, for example if you use the first ability when you're uh, trying to escape someone I'm gonna show you just now if I want to escape now I can use this one and do charge in front of me and escape uh, the enemy I'm uh, running away from so I'm gonna show you the second ability again and a ban and again I'm gonna use it just now because because that's that's the thing I can use it just again because of the fact that the third ability regenerates the cooldown and make it to zero so I'm gonna wait uh, for me to for to get money so nothing interesting now I'm gonna use the second ability I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna use the second ability again. Uh, that's amazing. I mean, this hero is really unique. One of the most unique uh, gods I have played with, really. So, thumbs up for that. I'm gonna try and kill this god here. Oh, I succeeded, which is amazingly good for me because I rarely make kills. So, I'm gonna go in guard stance and I'm gonna go to a uh, camp I'm gonna sh okay there are no alive minions here I'm gonna go to the other camp in order for me to get some uh, to get some HP by using the second ability in a guard stand so I'm gonna use this and as you see my HP bar is is really good now oh damn I didn't see this one well I just died but 
whatever. Uh, I'm gonna buy this steel mail again because I really forgot to buy severity. But I'm gonna buy it just now. Or I wanna buy mystical mail. I don't know. I'm gonna buy severity. Uh, maybe I won't see that in a few seconds. So uh, we may lose this one because uh, we literally didn't score a lot of kills. I'm gonna use uh, the first ability now. Okay, as you see, when you play uh, with a tank uh, uh, tier, it's really easy to score kills if you play with him good. Uh, and I'm not that good and even I score some kills so that's pretty good and unique even, I would say. Okay, now I'm gonna try to escape. Well, uh, that, that worked not bad at all. I died, but as you see, I can escape with the first ability just well. So that's, uh, that's good. Uh, so this god has only four skins, I think, but they're pretty cool. They're they're just beautiful. You wanna see them? Just uh, so uh, I would recommend buying buying a skin of this one because it really he has really unique skins. So we may just win. I don't know about that, but we're playing good in the last few minutes. Okay, let's see. Where do we go? Okay, we may try to kill Zeus because he's really powerful now. We may try to do that. Let's see if I can catch him here. Okay, I use my ultimate. Not that good this time. I'm gonna go on guard stance. I'm gonna use this. And then I'm gonna go and use this here. Okay, I'm gonna try to use it now actually. Okay, may, I may escape. Well, I did not manage to do that. But as you see, this god is amazingly good. I mean, this I really like this one. I don't know why, but I really like this one. Because he deals damage just enough as you will need. And he manages to uh, to be a tank in the same time. So I'm going to buy Steel Mail again. I'm going to buy Mystical Mail this time. Uh, because uh, these three items I'm buying Sovereignty, uh, Hide of the Neiman Lion and Mystical Mail are the best thunk items for this god really so if you're searching for a good thunk items for tour this is the god this is the items you want to play with so I'm gonna try and kill this bastard here well I may try to go back though because they're literally Okay, so as you see, I'll deal a lot of damage to this god here. So I'm gonna try uh, and really don't let this one kill my my bro. Uh, so the ultimate deals a lot of damage uh, too. So if you wanna if you wanna use it for for dealing damage, you can, but not that good as the first and the second ability, as I said in the first minutes. So I'm gonna help this one. Okay, I'm not gonna help him actually. So I'm gonna go back a little bit because I have uh, only half of my HP, which is kind of not enough. But I'm gonna restore it here. Let's see what we have. Okay, I'm gonna take a speed boost now. So I'm gonna use the these two abilities again. As you see, I can use them immediately uh, when I uh, change the stance I am in which is amazing so I'm gonna try and kill this I'm gonna go and try to actually kill kill the minions because they're really coming close now uh, okay uh, so this fire god I'm gonna introduce him in a few days he's really good too and he does a lot of damage he's really uh, he really has a lot of common things uh, with Zeus, so that's pretty unique about him. Okay, I may try to go back now because I'm really low on HP. So I'm gonna buy Mystical Mail now, I have the money for it, and I'm gonna go fast because we have 9 points left, just 9, which is amazingly low. And we may try to kill someone this time without dying. 
Because if we die now, actually we're gonna lose the game. And we lost the game because Athelion died. So, that's it guys. That's tier one of the best gods. Uh, one of the best tanks, actually. Uh, and if you wanna play with a strong, powerful god like this one, this is the one for you. But as I said, he's really hard to play with. So, you better, uh, you better play... Uh, with a lot of other gods before playing with this one because you'll need experience in order to kill him uh, to play with him sorry so that's it from me I'm Darkseidic bye guys